Hi, it's Chris here from L3D Accessories, and today I have the pleasure of taking you through the Creality Falcon 2 22 watt laser engraver. It's powerful, it's fast, and honestly, it surprised me in a few ways, both good and bad, and I'll be telling you all about it throughout. It goes without saying, I have also timestamped this video so that if there is a specific section you are looking to watch, feel free to skip forward and enjoy that particular section. It also helps the channel if you do watch the whole video. So if you are here for that as well, we really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we'll be doing lots more laser engraving reviews. So whether you're thinking of buying one of these machines or you already own one, or you just enjoy watching this kind of content, you're in the right place because I'm gonna take you through every single aspect of it. We'll be looking at the engraving side of things, the cutting side of things, We'll be taking a look into the software that I've used for it, how to set it up in the software. I've also got the rotary tool, which you're gonna see there. So I'll be showing you how to set that up. I've carried out material tests on slate, on wood, on leather patches, stainless steel tumblers, aluminium business cards, metal bottle openers. It's been a very definitive set of tests. I've also done cutting tests as well as engraving images, vector images. So I've done the full suite of testing so you can all determine if this is a machine you would be interested in. If you are looking for the unboxing or the setup, please check out this video right here. I'll go into great depths showing you exactly how to get it set up. Reality have sent me this laser engraver, but they had no opinion in anything I've said today. They haven't even seen this video I've released. All of these opinions are based on my own experiences from testing all of these materials thoroughly that you can see right behind me. Let's jump in and I'll show you exactly what this thing is capable of. Let's run through the advertised specifications. So it's coming in at 499 pounds at the moment. This one comes with a 22 watt laser module, which is quite unique. Usually they come with 20 watts. It has a large build plate and also 25,000 millimeters per minute. That's very fast. Also comes with an integrated air assist, which is really handy and it's pre-assembled in the box. There are also feet which allow it to rise up and it comes with five safety protections, flame monitoring and a triple monitoring system. This is what you get as the base package. You've got the user manual and accessories box and some material. Air assist also included as part of the basic bundle and then the power supply as well. And you'll see in a second, you get the 22 watt module as well. I'm using Lightburn for this because it's generally the go-to software that I use. And it's very easy to import the settings. Creality provide you with a USB stick with those settings. And as you can see here, you just quickly import it in and you're good to go as simple as that. Setting up your first engraving, super easy. You just lower the laser onto the provided thickness gauge until you hit the top panel, which is for engraving. And as you can see, it's simple as that, very good. Now we'll move on to safety features. It comes with a master control key. When that's off, you cannot activate the machine, which is really useful and very, very safe. Also an emergency stop button, which shuts the machine down instantly, just in case you have any emergencies.
I also got provided the Creality rotary tool. So I'm gonna show you how to set that up. It comes fully assembled with a cable and you also get extension legs with it as well. First thing we need to do is we need to unplug the cable, which is on the Y axis like so. Then we're gonna take the cable that was provided with the rotary tool and plug it in one end of the machine and then the other directly into the rotary tool. Now you'll see that it's got a really cool mechanism. You have a thumb screw you tighten, which locks it in place and allows you to tighten and loosen the grip. Really, really useful for when you're putting tumblers on because you don't have to worry about stopping the machine from rotating itself. And as you can see here, really effective. Now we're gonna set the laser height done exactly the same way as with the rest of the materials, put it on top of the thickness gauge, tighten the thumb screws and then line it up. And finally, we wanna measure the perimeter using the provided tape measure that you can see here. Take note of that, very important. So to set it up in Lightburn, you go to rotary setup, you select chuck, enable rotary, then we'll fill in these details right here. And this is all from the user manual. The circumference is what we measured a second ago. So we'll input that. And now we're gonna do a test on that circumference. I wanted to do a full wrap test just to make sure that it does actually join up on both sides. So as you can see here, I've just done an engraved line all around and it did join up really, really well. Let's take a look at our final engraving and I'll let you know what I think. So I was really impressed with the photo quality. Unfortunately, I snapped the piece of wood as you can see there. This was an engraving and then a score around the outside of it and it came out absolutely beautiful. The cutting power was actually very good. The slate coaster was brilliant, but I struggled to line it up on that. Business card, absolutely pristine. Leather was great. And that box went together so well as well. The cutting really did impress me. Tumblr you saw a minute ago, but overall it can do such a wide range of materials and it really, really was efficient all the way through. Nice clean engravings, really good finishes and very practical. Now that I've had a chance to test absolutely everything with this machine, I wanna give you guys my opinions and a list of pros and cons so you can get a good idea if this machine is for you. So the first pro that I would talk about is the build quality and design of this machine. It's an ultra solid, well machined metal frame. I'm a mechanical design engineer by trade. So I, I create a lot of things that are machined out of metal. So I can spot good workmanship when I see it. And this is as good as it gets. It's really good quality. And I, I highly recommend it. The cable routing that was included is really tidy. It doesn't get trapped anywhere. So there's no concern of things getting caught up in anything. It feels premium, it feels rigid, and it really fits on the desk well. And once it's using, it doesn't move, it's solid, which is really important because you want things to stay still so that they keep the accuracy when they're laser engraving. I love the fact that this came pre-assembled. You literally just take a couple of items out of the box. And like I said earlier in the video, there is an unboxing and assembly video you can see right there again. But if it comes pre-assembled, you literally take it out, screw a few feet on it, plug in the air assist and you are good to go, which is a massive pro for anyone who is not so confident with building things. The integrated air assist is also very good. I've used a lot of air assist now on different lasers. This particular one was a top performer. It was really useful. I, I could noticeably see the difference in the cut quality and even the cut efficiency and speeds. And I used that air assist also on the side of the machine, there is a knob which allows you to adjust the power of it, the intensity, which is really good. You don't see that very often. Usually it's either on or off. So the fact that you can define it down to that level gives you a lot of versatility. The build size, this has a work area of 400 by 410 millimeters, which is massive. That allows you to do some really large pieces of engraving, which completely opens up your prospects of what you can do if you're a business, if you're just having fun, if you're making gifts for people, it adds a lot of versatility. The offline card on the side, there's an SD card reader you can put offline things, which is really good. It means if you don't always have access to a PC or you just want to do the same thing over and over, it allows you to do that really easily. The laser module itself, in my case, a 22 watt one, really robust, really nice. It felt solid and it felt premium and it was actually really efficient and really good at engraving. So that is another massive pro to this machine. Now we'll move on to the cons. The first con for this machine is the open frame. As much as I love the open frame because it is easy to put stuff in and engrave and get around it, 
There is one slight flaw, and that is the same with any open frame laser engraver. It's not specific to this, but it is the fumes and the smells. When you laser engrave things, naturally you get fumes and you get smells because you're burning stuff at the end of the day. You're vaporizing stuff. And as part of that, you get the smells and the fumes and you need extraction. You need something in there to help draw that out. Otherwise it will consume the room a bit. That being said, they do have an enclosure which actually allows you to attach an extractor to it and draw it out. So that is a perfect solution already in place. I didn't do it for this because I didn't get the opportunity to, but that is something to bear in mind. My second con is the framing accuracy. So the laser itself is very accurate. However, to get the actual laser lined up on the item before you start an engraving to make sure you centrally position your item or your design, it's a bit of a learning curve. Because it's such a well-made bulky laser module and the little window on the front that stops the, the light from escaping, it's quite hard to actually judge where that laser nozzle is facing. So I found it was a bit of trial and error to get it sorted first. You can use Lightburn to send a little 1% power light beam down, but looking through that window makes it quite hard to see. There are ways around it. It does not limit the machine, but it is something to bear in mind. It's a little bit manual to get that set up. So would I recommend this laser engraver? Well, to get to the short of it, the answer is 100% yes. I have really enjoyed my experience with this. Previous laser engravers that I've used throughout my experience have been quite finickety or they needed a lot of TLC and a lot of coaxing through the whole process. This particular laser engraver, and I'm not exaggerating when I say this, I took it out, I set it up, and I was using it within five or 10 minutes. I couldn't believe how user-friendly and well-designed. Every aspect of it, you can tell, has been really well thought out and well-designed. Who is this laser engraver designed at? I would say it's definitely designed at hobbyists. If you're looking to get into laser engraving, this is a perfect place to start. But if you're a small business and you want to make personalized items, large personalized items, wood, metal, leather, all these things, even tumblers, it does an absolutely outstanding job at that. So it is perfect for that side of things. This laser engraver is something I will be putting into my workflow. I'll be using it going forward because I do really like it. It's a genuinely great laser. So I would highly recommend it. If you are looking to get into laser engraving, this is a great place to start. Now, finally, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in again to another one of my reviews. You probably see more and more of them are coming through and I've got a backlog of four or five more lasers to use, to test and to actually do a review on. So if you love laser engraving like I do, if you love that kind of thing, if you want tutorials, tips, if you want access to me, I'm a really helpful, friendly person and I'll always answer your questions feel free to subscribe to the channel because I love having you guys around for the journey and I hope you guys can share and enjoy the passion I have got for this stuff. So thank you very much for watching today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did get something from this review. Have a lovely day, guys, and I'll see you again soon.